Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here and welcome back you guys to another Pokemon team builder for you all. Today we are continuing on Pokemon Sword and Shield with the starters of Grookey, Twacky and Rillaboom. But of course, like always, quick disclaimer just before the video gets underway to say that it's opinion based. You can change anything about the team, it is your journey through the Galar region. If you want to change anything about this team, by all means go ahead and do so. Pokemon themselves, their natures, their movesets, anything about the team, go ahead and change. But of course, also make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you do change and what you decide to use for your Grookey team builders. Uh, but with that being said you guys, let's get on with this. Alright then you guys, so first off of course we have our starter which is indeed Rillaboom. You get Grookey at the start of the game of course is your starter. And in terms of like stat wise and as a starter, this thing's very very good. Very good. Uh, so moves that we've gone with drum beating, which is its unique move. If it hits the opposing, it actually lowers the opponent's speed, which in game is absolutely fantastic. Because if you've got some of those fast ones that you don't actually quite outspeed, just hitting drum beating one time and then being able to do a quick U turn out, drain punch to recover some HP, or maybe a super effective earthquake, you never know, uh, really allows this thing to put in the absolute finest of work. I've gone with the jolly nature as well, just to up that speed as well. Because of drum beating, you could. Go for the adamant nature. If you're going to be using drum beating, just remember that of course you're not going to get drum beating to evolves. Um, so, uh, but yeah, adamant nature could be a very solid choice. It's already base one two five, so I thought you know give it a jolly nature, boost up that eight five speed just a bit. So if we do want to be a bit quicker than something to get a quick U turn off, uh, we can do as well. But in terms of like starters and in game, this thing's just absolutely solid. I I, I don't think a starter has been this solid in game. I want to say until like Greninja. Honestly, I rate him that high in terms of like an in-game starter. Like the Gen Gen 7 ones were all okay, I'd say, in-game. Like Primarina was probably my favourite in-game across that board. But in terms of this one, Grookey's been my favourite since day one. Uh, I've always loved Monkey. He's one of my favourite animals growing up, so I love this thing straight away. And Rillaboom's design is very unique and very cool, so honestly, uh, nothing against this for me. It's it's I am the part of the Grookey gang, as they'd say it was my favourite when I first started. Uh, in game, it's absolutely solid. So, for all of you wanting to try out Rookie, by all means, go ahead and do so. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Uh, of course, it's our first team member. It's Rillaboom. On to Pokemon number two for this team, you guys, and we have a Dreadnought, Water Rock type, really hard hitting Water type Pokemon. Liquidation, Stone Edge, Crunch, Earthquake, Jolly Nature. We've gone with the Jolly Nature on this one. 74 speeds. So it's actually the slowest thing in the world for a Rock type. I generally thought this thing would be a lot slower, and base 74 speed isn't the end of the world. Uh, especially if you can like breed this thing and get a hidden belly and you can get Swift Swim. Obviously for in-game that's not really going to happen, so you're going to want to go for the strong draw one just to boost up that crunch as well. Liquidation Stone is two very hard hitting stab moves, Earthquake just for a bit of coverage. Uh, you can get Tootle, is it Tootle is the way I'm going I'm to pronounce this, on Route 2, so you can get this thing quite early so you can start training from the get-go. And level 22 to evolve is very good in my opinion. The fact that you can get this thing at level 22 is just absolutely solid. Uh, base 115 physical attack, uh, 90 defense, 90 HP. Uh, it's special attack, don't worry about special attack. It's not a special attack or whatsoever, so ignore that completely. Base 68 is special defense lets it down a bit, so try not to take those grass and electric type moves that are gonna be on the special side because it's it's gonna hurt quite a bit. Um, if you can try and take some physical attacks with this thing, then it's just gonna put in the absolute work. And its Dynamax form looks absolutely sick as well. So it's one of the ones, uh, one of the Pokemon uh, with a unique Dynamax form, so it doesn't just get bigger and stay at the same, it actually has a unique design when it Dynamaxes uh, due to like uh, one of the gym leaders using it. Uh, Nessa, I believe, yes. Ness is the water type gym leader. I'm not talking absolute rubbish. Uh, but fantastic in-game one. Uh, water type is always solid to have on your in-game team. And it just it does the absolute funnest work. And the fact that you can get it so early as a Route 2 um, and use it throughout the game is absolutely fantastic. So if you haven't used Dreadnought already, I'm going to say please give it a go. Uh, really good early game one that just, just really well uh, develops through the game and keeps up to pace with everything else. Uh, but it's our second Pokemon. It's Dreadnought. On to Pokemon at number 3 you guys, and we have the monster that is Center Scorch. This thing is arguably one of my favourite mons to come out of Generation 8 so far. This thing is absolutely awesome. I love its typing of Bugfire, I've always been a massive fan of Volcarona. Um, I always said a uh, physical version would be very cool. Obviously 4 times weak to rock, so competitively this thing is going to struggle a little bit. Um, but in game wise, this thing absolutely wrecks lives. Base 100 HP which it means it's very solid in terms of defensive. Like physically defensive 65, it does let it down a bit, but it can take a special attack very well. Um, base 115 physical attack. I've gone with the Adam and Nature to boost that as well. Anything below normally about base 70, base 75 in these team builders, 
is obviously he's come back from different opinions based on. I normally tend to go with the adamant nature uh, if it's below that number because I've, it comes to the conclusion where, okay, this thing's already kind of slow. You could put the jolly nature on this thing if you want to. If you want it a bit quicker, by means, go ahead. Uh, if, if there are certain things through the game that you feel like, oh, this could definitely outspeed if it had a, if it had a jolly nature, then by all means go for it. I've just gone with an adamant nature but just, just because this thing can hit hard as absolute balls. And the fact that we can have leech life as well, so we can recover all of that HP. Fire Lash, strong hitting fire type move. You can trade that out for Flare Blitz if you want even more power, whatever. Crunch, just for a bit of coverage, because why not? And Power Whip to hit those fire types. Uh, not those fire types, there's water types and there's rock types, excuse me there. Um, so, nice bit of coverage and Power Whip, this very kind of unique kind of move there. Uh, so something that's really been coming out of Generation 8 is a lot new moves for loads of different Pokemon, and it's really good because it, it's really changing the meta in a way. And I love it because it's it's going to more uh, more hyper offensive um, meta, which just suits me to a T because I love just going in as quickly as possible and hitting things as, as hard as I can. Um, so something like a, a, a maybe even a, a scarf or a banded uh, life orb sort of set on this thing, maybe even a salt vest, especially defensive, uh, would actually put in the absolute work in this thing competitively. But in game. It's absolutely solid. You can get a Sizzlipede on Route 3 as well, so it's another Mon that you can get quite early. I know we've gone with all of our three physical attackers quite early, but don't worry, the special attackers are about to come uh, and come into play. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic in-game Mon. One of my favourites coming out of Generation 8. Use it if you haven't already. I know I've seen a few comments of people asking me if they should use it or not. Definitely, definitely, definitely give it a go if you haven't already. It's our third team member. It is Center Scorch. On to Pokemon number four, you guys, and a familiar face comes back to the team builders. I agree, you guys would say this is my favourite in-game one ever, and I'd probably have to say, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. It is, of course, Gardevoir. Now, before, there's a disclaimer at the start of the video for a reason. If you do want to just use Generation 8 Pokemon, then trade this thing out for Hatterene straight away. They're both Psychic and Fairy. Both do the same sort of thing. Uh, Gardevoir's just a bit quicker, but... Can take a hit maybe a little bit less i'd like to say both very good especially defensive um but i already used hatterene in the grookey team uh, not the grookey the sobble team builder and i didn't want to duplicate any mons across this um so each team has unique mons that i didn't use before so there'd be no uh center scorch no dreadnought no gardevoir in the score bunny team builder that's a completely different team um but yeah gardevoir in game is just brilliant it's fantastic psychic moonblast thunderbolt shadow ball your typical in-game guard war moveset just for a bit of coverage psychic and moonblast hard hitting stab thunderbolts just because there's water types and flying types and all over it it's just a hard hitting move you could probably change that out for something like carmine if you wanted to shadow ball for your, your ghost types and stuff like that timber nature because like i said base 80 we want it to be as quickly as possible because that base 125 special attack really going to come in handy that base 115 special defense that was especially defensive monster it's amazing love it so we've got two really good physical defensive walls in rillaboom and dreadnought and then we've got two decent or a decent one in center scorch because it can take them and then a very good one in guard of war just already we've got that we've got the hard hitting physical types in our first three straight away with a hard hitting special attacker and we've got our defenses covered already this team i'd like to say is very well rounded and very well balanced uh, of course, like I said, if you want to use your Gen 8 Mons, then trade a few, few things out, switch things around. It's your journey through Galley. You can use absolutely what you want. I'm just giving you a nice basis of what I think you can, should go off, or what you could go off, not what you should, what you could. Uh, try and get my wording right there. Because this thing in-game, I'll, I'll, I'll defend it to the end of the earth for being one of the best in-game Mons uh, of all time. And it's absolutely fantastic for this generation, allowing you to get uh, Rolts. Uh, in the, I think the worst, the first Wildlands you were able to get Rolts, if I remember correctly. Um, but if not, of course, there is um, Max Raid Battles and different things like that. Uh, anything that you want to find, I always recommend going to Surabi. Um, all the information for every single mod and where to get them, how to evolve them, everything will be on Surabi or uh, Pokemon DB. There are so many websites that you guys can use to uh, see uh, how to get things and what to do. Of course, you get a Rolts, Curly at level 20, Gardevoir level 30, absolutely smashed it. Done. Brilliant. If you haven't used a guard war ever, please, please give it a go because it's absolutely fantastic. It's our fourth team member. It is guard war. On to Pokemon number five, you guys, and we have our first fossil Pokemon of the team builders. It is uh, Actrazolt, I want to say. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, so this is the bird dino fossil, uh, bird being on the top, dino being on the bottom. Uh, this thing's very unique, uh, ice and electric type. Um, if you guys don't want to use this thing, um, I'd highly recommend Toxtricity as a replacement. Um, 
I've used this thing as a special attacker, even though its physical attack is higher, I wanted another special attacker. I didn't want four physical and, and two special because you know I like to have a nice balance of things. And Ice Typing is very solid, especially when you've got the Dragon Gym later on. Uh, Ice Beam, Surf, Thunderbolt, Bulk Beat as its uh, moveset, modest nature to boost up the special attack since it's base 90. But across the board, its stats are pretty solid other than its speed, so it is quite slow. Ice Beam, Hard Hitting Stab, Thunderbolt, Hard Hitting Stab. Surf, just for a nice bit of coverage because of why not ground types are a definite thing. I know you can use Ice Beam as well, but you never know because uh, of different uh, typings and stuff like that. And Bulk Beat just is its unique move. Bulk Beat is physical, uh, but if it manages to hit first, um, you could... Uh, double its base power of 80 so it becomes a base 160 move and even though we've gone modest you've still got base 100 attack stats so it's still going to do a fair like load of damage if you're able to go first if there are, there are some slow water types around you manage to just bulk beat the crap out of them and just hit it really hard uh, this thing's very unique all the fossils are very unique in their own way if you guys want to try the fossil set there's four different kinds of variants of fossils in this game which is absolutely awesome i love the idea that they've done of just sort of like the different heads and the different bodies that you can go for uh, for these things and absolutely just really cool idea in my opinion um, but yeah really solid all the fossils are absolutely I, I like this one just because of its typing uh, ice electric I thought was really cool and I saw sort of just how this fits in there really quite nicely uh, really good stats across the board and just I thought you know what it's different let's give it a go if you guys don't want to use it there's so many different options in this game that you guys can go for but I thought it was really cool love its design it's just really funky and really stupid which is sort of shit that I like um, but yeah, if you haven't given any of the fossils a go, especially as a result, um, by all means, really do give it a go. It is our fifth team member. It is up to result. On to the final team member then, you guys, and we have Duraladon. I'm probably absolutely butchering that. If you guys want to correct me in the comment section, by all means, go ahead and do so. Steel Dragon Typing. This thing, again, uh, I'm just going to say, Generation 8 knocked it out of the park when it comes to the designs of these Pokemon. These, this, this, this is so cool. You know, you know, I love my dragons, and arguably it doesn't really look like a dragon, but this thing is really good and surprisingly like quick. Timid nature, base 85 speed to boost up even more. Base 120 special attack, base 115 defense, 95 attack. Well, making it a special attack, so ignore that. 70 uh, HP, special defense. Don't take a special attack on this thing. It does. It doesn't like them. Flash Cannon, Dragon Pulse, Dark Pulse, Thunderbolt, Timber Nature. Just really good all-round coverage. Flash Cannon, Dragon Pulse for Stab. You can also go for Drake and Meteor if you want a bit more power. Dark Pulse, just because why the hell not? Thunderbolt, because Thunderbolt's always nice to have, and it means you can really wall those, uh, these um, flying types with this thing. Uh, just really good, really solid in-game sort of like Dragon of course, we've already used Dragapult in the Sobble Team Builder, so I can just use that every single time because I love that thing as well. Uh, but Duraladon, just absolutely solid. Route 10s when you get it, so you do get it quite late on, unless you can farm one in like a max raid or something like that. But like I say, always try and go to the max raids and just see what's around and see what you can get because there's so many different variants of Pokemon, just so many different things that you can use in this game, and it's, it's fantastic. Uh, I, I've got to credit Sword and Shield for such a brilliant job that they've done. All, all the stuff that was going on on Twitter before the games, People are going to boycott the game because of the national debts and all, and all this different stuff and it's ruined the game and it really hasn't. It's been so positive and if there are things about the game that you dislike, that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I think this is one of the best games to come out of the Pokemon series in a very, very long time. Uh, I, had, I, had, I had one of my friends tell me yesterday that it's actually now his favourite Pokemon game over Gen 3. That hurt my soul a little bit, but I can completely understand where he's coming from and why he loves these games so much and why loads of people love these games so much because of how well they're doing and the concepts and just the, just everything about these games. Uh, of course there are a few little things here and there that people uh, want to change, maybe competitively in different things, national decks and blah 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 blah. But overall, absolutely fantastic, just like this Pokemon. In-game, absolutely solid. Hits hard, it can be quick as well, even though it's a steel type. So a quick steel type, you know, the first one that comes to mind for me is like Lucario. Uh, other than that, you've got maybe some legends like Cobalion and stuff like that. Maybe be able to pick up a bit of speed, but not normally known for being very quick. So being able to have like a base 90 plus sort of thing with the Timber Nature really, really makes it solid. Base 120 special attack as well, just blows things out of the wall. It's absolutely fantastic. It's our final team member. It is Duraladon. Alright then you guys, so that is going to be the team builder for our Garuki team builder. Uh, let's quickly go back through that team one more time. We have Rillaboom, Dreadnought, Center Scorch, Gardevoir, uh, Arctozolt and Drillododon. 
Uh, I think I said all those correctly. Uh, before the video ends, I'd just like to give a massive shout out to my girl Sammy for the artwork on the Grookey. If you guys want to check her out, she's a fantastic artist. Uh, her links will be down in the description. She can do you guys some customized avatars, just different things that you want for maybe your, your, your social platforms, your YouTube stuff. I couldn't rec recommend her enough, really butchered that. Uh, she's absolutely fantastic, so her links will be down in the description down below. Uh, the groupie she did is absolutely adorable and I love it. She's also going to be doing the score bunny as well, so really gone to her and she's pulled these out of the bag because they look absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the video, definitely make sure you hit the like button down below for us. Show support for the channel and the series, of course. And uh, next up will be score bunny, but if you have enjoyed this team building, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you let me know your teams for Grookey in the comments section below. Uh, but with that being said, you guys, I'm going to get out of it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!